Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Let's Try Orange Adventure. And at this point, you may be wondering, Quill, what the hell are you doing? I get a lot of emails, and I think every YouTuber gets a ton of emails from a bunch of different games. And a lot of times you can tell right away from, from the way the email is that it's it's just going to be a garbage game. And then you click through to the link, and you just look at it, and you're like, no, this looks like crap. And because of the way this email is written, my first assumption was this is going to be another crap indie game that is just garbage and not worth the value. And as soon as I clicked the link to watch the uh, to check the Steam page for this game, I was overwhelmed with a massive amount of nostalgia for all these classic platformers that were coming out for the NES, SNES, and uh, Sega Genesis or Mega Drive era. Especially these like really crazy cheesy corporate games like Yonoid, which was basically a Domino's advertisement, and um, Cool Spot, which is basically, I think, a 7-Up advertisement. And this is exactly what this feels like. I feel like this should be an advertisement for an orange juice company. You are orange. You are a box of orange juice. You're a juice box. And your friends have been kidnapped by, um, well, I don't know. There's sort of a, there's sort of a, a wordless um, comic book panel thing at the start of the game. And there's some sort of, like, guy who's, I guess, a juicer who's stolen your your orange friends. And he, I don't know, I guess he's gonna juice them or something like that. And you have to go and rescue them. And I'm definitely, like, from the story, I'm getting a very sort of Sonic the Hedgehog kind of vibe. The platforming is very simple. I feel like this is probably an excellent kids game. Um, I mean, these little platforms are a little bit tight, I gotta say, but I mean, the controls are simple. They're NES era controls. You've got one button that you can hold so you can either walk or run, and you've got a, a jump button, and that's fine. There are apparently 40 levels in the game. There's a little bit of variation. I've already done a minecart level. I haven't played very much. I'm still in, you know, very much in the first world. I haven't beaten any big bosses. Every level gives you rewards for having picked up all of the orange slices, as well as if you complete the level at full health, you can uh, you get a bonus star and as well you have to collect all the explosive bits to be able to complete the level so i've got the main detonator i've got the plunger i'm going to be looking for the cables next let's try not to get hit by this dude over here i've already completed this level before and we're gonna have to do a little bit of whoa don't fall off that's some instant death waiting for you down there quilly jump up grab the orange slice and do this anyway i just i, I don't know in it Ugh. I'm definitely one of these people who have gotten very, very jaded about so many of the emails that I've gotten. And in a sea of that, it felt great to see a little indie project, apparently made by one person over a year and a half, who's clearly a pretty good artist, and knew, like, there's a definite effort to feel like one of these old games, and that was successfully executed right there. It's also cheap. It's, for me on Steam, it's like $6.50, so probably somewhere around 5 bucks US, which is, uh, which... You know, it's hard to go wrong with, with something like that. So, anyway, I, it just made me feel good to to play and cover this game. This is going to be a little tricksy. Ah! Luckily, there is a heart up there. Try to avoid getting hit a second time. There we go. So, I can still end at full HP. Sorry for the silence. I got to focus. This is hard work. You do need to get all the explosive bits to finish the level. So, at least it does, um, you know... You are going to have to explore around to find those. I can't remember if there's a pit down here. The one downside is that you can't jump down through these one-sided platforms. And I, I would have appreciated that a few times. Because I'm always worried that I'm going to fling myself off the edge of one of those to descend. And turns out there's going to be a hole there that I can't quite see. I think we might be able to perfect this level. It is one of the earlier levels. Ah! Oh, that was close. It is one of the early levels, so you wouldn't expect it to be too hard. But yeah, I love the visuals. I love the mountains in the background. That that half orange that's sort of stuck into the side there and dripping orange juice. I think it looks fantastic. I'm sort of getting thirsty just just looking at it here. So, oh, we're definitely not speed running this level. I'm trying to finish it with a perfect score. There we are. The only there we go, and we've got all the explosives. So we're going to be able to explode this and get one of our orange friends back and perfect it with all three stars. Hooray! Oh, and I accidentally hit the the restart button, but I think. I think it will still have given me credit for that. It actually didn't. I, I quit out <laughs> by hitting the wrong button there, but that's okay. I want to go back to... Nope, not this one. Let me go back one more level. Maybe it did give me credit. Maybe that's what I'm confused about. I want to go down to... down here at the bottom. How do I get there? The, the world map is a little bit wonky. Navigating the world map for some reason is wonky. Is this the level I'm thinking of? Yeah, there we go. Tell me this does not feel kind of, uh, kind of retro to you. Minecart level! Doo -doo -doo. So yeah, apparently about 40 worlds. 
or 40 levels, so a good amount of variety there. I love the art. It's cheap as hell. It just made me... It just made me happy that this existed. So I thought, you know what, let's make a little bit of video. And that's it, this is it. This is called Orange Adventure. It's available on Steam. It's made by a, a single guy in Argentina, apparently. Oh! Oh, I made the jump. I was sure I was gonna die there. And that's that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.